let's go to this screen here where uh, we have, uh, and as you can see, I have an older installation of Classfish somewhere which uh, now is noticing a few updates, and uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but let me close out this screen for uh, now and switch to the place where I have all the downloaded uh, Glassfish distribution. So you can see the zip for the Glassfish community distribution, starting with web profile, and I'm quickly switching to the um, full platform, going over to the Unix installation because I'm running on Mac OS, and then moving on to Sun Glassfish Enterprise Server, and uh, finally going on to the Java EE SDK installer. Let's install one of those. So let's go to a demo folder here and uh, just do a very quick installation. So I have all my files on desktop v3 downloads directory. And uh, let's pick uh, SGES v3 web and install that. And it's as easy as. Uh, unzipping. And once the installation is complete, you can just go to Classfish v3 directory, and under that you will see the familiar AS admin script in the bin directory. Or if you are looking for your configuration, that's under domain slash domain one directory. So that's how you can get started using Glassfish, and Jerome will next talk about how to use Glassfish.